We're talking now Sun Racer footy. It's the start of our footy reports, and Scotty Gregg, the coach of the Ode United Kangas, is with us. Hey, Scotty, how are you going? Yeah, pretty good, mate. Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, going well. I, I know that you're actually out on the Oval doing some work at the moment, uh, not too far from where Bamble actually play their footy. Yeah, I'm actually working with a senior college in Bamble, U, senior college Oval. Um, so, yeah, I'm just standing in front of the Bamble club rooms at the minute. <laughs> oh, know the uh, location. A lot of folk listening will also know that too. Uh, coming up, uh, we'll take a look at Miller with football uh, in a little bit. But uh, let's go to the, um, the Sun Racer. And last weekend, there's some really interesting results. Redcliffe's got nailed by Wentworth um, over uh, at uh, George Gordon now. You ex- expect that 16-11 to 10-9. Yeah, I think Wentworth are really building, starting to get some... Key players back on the ground and up and running, like um, Super Spots and and um, and the coach Wade. So um, I think they're they're the team that are that are on the up right at the minute. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's another one on the up, and it's Murbeen, 2010 over South 10, 12, and at Kenny Park, the Magpies are starting to squawk. They definitely are. They're a team that got themselves extremely fit pre-season, and they're reaping the rewards at the moment, and then they're back into wins early. And what about this? Over at Irimple, the Swallows have been done by Robinvale Euston, 13-13-91 to 6-10-46. Have we got a new Premiership favourite? Oh, I think it might be too early to take that call. The Premiership favourites, they're another team that got themselves extremely fit. Um, Irimple had a few key players missing in their, um, in, in their, in their new Ruckman. And just talking to some of the Oriental boys, um, they got some of their pre-game matchups wrong. So um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far just yet. I'll tell you what, we can say one thing, and that is that your boys have got a few problems. Uh, getting nailed by Mildura, 18-14-122 to Own United, 10-10-70. And Scotty, uh, it's uh, it's time for the uh, the coach uh, to say what's going on, fellas. Yeah, we've. Uh... Well, yeah, we can't we can't continue to use the the lack of fitness as a reason. Um, the boys uh, got themselves to a physical fitness stage where they need to be performing much better, including including myself. Um, we're just not playing four quarters of team orientated footy right at the minute. Um, under some scoreboard pressure, we're making some poor decisions, which builds the pressure even further. So. The buy gives us a really good opportunity to have some um, honest conversation, to create some different targets and roles, positional-wise, for some individuals to um, spark a response as a group because we're definitely much better than what we're delivering on a Saturday at the minute and we need to change it quickly. You certainly do. Uh, getting uh, Dallas Woolsmore into the game. Uh, Kane Stevens booted five. He's having a good start season. Jamal Daly's going well. Simon Brown is evergreen. The good players like Keegan Keeley and uh, Reed Stevens come into the club are there. Um, but, but you've just got to find uh, that team play and uh, no doubt that they could not be too far away. Wanted to have a look at the reserve grade here and uh, it's usually a good indication of uh, where the seniors are at if you've got the uh, solid performances coming out of the reserves. And what was a good match? Uh, Own United 10 14 to beat Mildura 7 7. You'd have to be pretty happy with that, Scotty, because um, reserve grade uh, shows some depth there. You've been able to beat one of the other sides, a bit lower down the comp, but that's a good win still. Oh, mate, it was a great win. And, and um, the group that Todd's got there together um, changes on a daily basis, a weekly basis, as, as is the case with reserve footy. But they're just playing with a great attitude and they're bringing a, a maximum level of effort and they're getting the results that they want. They certainly are. Young John Shine booted a couple, uh, shining up there. Uh, Jeffries, Marge, uh, young Ben near Nihil with a goal, and Jackson Plant, uh, too. Well done. Um, uh, there's eight goals there listed out of the ten that were kicks. A couple of blokes didn't get their name on the score sheet, but they'll be a bit rotten about that. But Jeffries with the best player, Tim Vine, Brad Summerhays, a, a legend uh, of the club, and uh, Billy Katnack, a, a young kid coming through, and John Shine in the better players. Del- you'd have to be delighted with the, the, the just the progress of those 16 and 17-year-old boys that are playing up in, in senior footy. Oh, absolutely. John, John's only... Well, last year he was playing under 14 as, as an overage, and now he's, bottom, now he's top age under 16. So he's playing... Because we, uh, we haven't got under 18s, he's playing in the reserves. And, yeah, last Saturday was a really gross 
development game for him uh, a, a serious step forward and probably understands that um, it's not as hard as, as it could be mentally playing against the bigger fellas because most of them can't catch him. Yes, that's a good point. Uh, and it's uh, great um, to see the kids coming through developing. All right, you've got the weekend off. They'll freshen up. Uh, some of your lads will need that and uh, come back uh, bigger and better. Let's have a look at the other senior footy games. And Wentworth head across uh, to Brian Waitman Oval. I think they should be too good for the Imperials. Yeah, they'll definitely be too good there. They've got some really key players that are stood, um, in Fergus Watts, um, Wade, and the best ex-West Coast Eagles player that just escapes me at the minute. But, yeah, they've got some really key people that you have to match up on, and, yeah, they'll, I think they'll win comfortably. Yeah, Jared Brander, you're talking about, but you're quite you're quite correct there with um, uh, Fergus Watts, a very, very good player. I think he was on the Crows list, if I remember, um, for a little period of time. And St Kilda. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yes. Mildura and South. You saw Mildura. I think at the precinct they might be a bit too good to the Mildura side. I think I might have said last week that Sam, we played them in a practice match and Sam was really, you could see he was instilling some really good defensive traits into their team, which they're still doing. And he's also got some offensive traits where they like to come through the corridor a fair bit. So, you know, I think they'll win that one just on the, um, on the way they're executing the structures at the moment. And what about this? Uh, Rimfield and Redcliffe's traditional rivals. This one is at uh, Kwandong Park. And over the years, I've had some ding-dong battles. Uh, more recently, uh, Rimfield have had Redcliffe's measure. But gee, this could be interesting, actually. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I've Rimfield bounced back really quickly. They've got some really good players there in Nick Mee and... Um and, and others, so I think they'll bounce back quickly and win comfortably. What about Rob Bell Houston at home at John James? Merbeen, this is the moment of truth. The two fittest sides in the comp right now, and uh, these magpies come up against the red and white swans, and I'm going to just tip a little upset. I think Merbeen are on the road and looking good. Yeah, you're right. It is the, it is the um, matchup of the two teams that uh, reckon the rewards of starting the season um, extremely fit. Um, but Robinvale are a very hard team to beat at home, especially if they get in front and the locals on the hill get behind them. So I'd be tipping Robinvale in that one. All right, she's a beauty. You own United. Uh, get a week off. You get a week off. Do you, do you, do you go watch another uh, couple of games or does everyone just have a real break? Yeah, it's, I've, I just believe when you get a break... Um, in, in your season, you let the players do what they want to do. You don't lump any extra uh, responsibilities on the weekend where they can go and attend to family needs, work needs or social needs that are outside of football. So, um, yeah, I've just left the weekend. We had a really good training session last night. We addressed some things that we, um, we think can change to make us a bit harder to play against and can give us the opportunity to get our first win on the board next weekend. Going to be a big game when that occurs, and we're looking forward to having Scotty Grigg, the coach of the Own United Kangas, to talk to us about it. Do you have a great weekend, Scott? Thanks, my man.